All right, here's the offset lateral or, or centered or offset, doesn't matter. It'll work for any lateral, any angle, any size pipe. This is uh, from, from layout to final cut and prep 30 minutes. Um, super easy. You're gonna need a couple of things. Whoa, 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 soapstone, a rod, a TIG rod, a 6010 rod. Um, this is 332, I would recommend that. Um, 1 8th, uh, 6010 will work just fine. Um, I'm gonna use a, uh, a Sharpie today. Oh, and a uh, piece of angle, bigger than this one. Um, ideally, it's almost as long as a rod. It should work pretty good. Um, it's not going to be great though. Um, okay, you're going to see this and you're going to be like, uh, duh, I knew this was coming. So what you do is I got my shit set in the jacks. And I'm just going to make up some numbers and whatnot. So let's say the print calls for two inches from the bottom and three quarter inches from the top. That's what I got it set at. Um, I got the angle set. Let's just pretend it's a 45. Um, like I said, any angle. Could be 30, could be 90, it could be 27.3125. Any angle, here it goes. First step, you take your angle and you're gonna put a shit ton of lines on your pipe. Now, just for the record, I'm gonna spin this around, so. Every quarter inch or so, just make sure you're, the more, the more accurate it's gonna be. And really, there's only a couple spots that you need to be accurate on, and that's the throats. And, well, the transition areas, really, I guess. So, anyway. I'll work, I'll work this way so you can see what I'm doing. Just I just slide it, just slide it and mark it, 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 slide it and mark it. There, I mean, you could do any any size gap. There's you don't have to measure this. Just going all the way around. I'm gonna make them a little bigger since it's a demonstration. They don't have to be evenly spaced. They don't have to be anything but straight. Look, here we are, we're already done. All the way around. Okay. So, we got our height set in the jacks, the top and bottom and our angle. What we're gonna have it do is we're gonna tack it right here. One little tiny tack, that's all you need, just to hold it. Because uh, you don't want this shit moving around once you start. If it if it moves, start over. But, and this works best with two people. It's a breeze. And, uh, so what you do, actually let me lower this a little bit. There we go. Okay, yeah. So there's our, there's our, what our print calls for three quarters off the top and our two inches off the bottom. The, the lines, you're gonna run the rod straight down, straight. And what you do, you're gonna wanna drive the rod and have your helper or whoever mark the pipe. As soon as that rod touches the pipe, you just mark it. And then you go to the next line and you mark it. And you go to the next line and you mark it. And you mark it all the way around all the way around I mean and I'll do a couple of these just so you can you can see this is okay so yeah the, I guess on the ears is where you want the uh, the most marks at I don't actually I don't really remember but like I said the more marks you do it doesn't take much longer you can see I'm doing this like I actually would in the shop Anyway, I'm a quarter done with the pipe. You saw how fast that was. You just mark it out. Okay. 
can't see if I'm in the frame or not. You got your little cross marks. You just connect them and cut it. Now, whether whether you're just making a pup piece that, that ties into the header and all you need to do is, is something this big, this is perfect for that. Um, leave your random off of the back. That away, that away off your off of your longest mark. Or well, I guess I guess you need to know how big you want your pup piece to be. But just off of your longest or shortest mark, then you can make your, you know, obviously you'd want to make the cut first and then trim your random. Or use this piece to make a template, uh, get you a, a folder, wrap it, knock it off with a hammer, mark it, whatever. You got a, a template and you can transfer that onto a full stick of pipe or, or whatever. Um, so, but yeah, super simple. No shit, 30 minutes from, from, from layout to uh, to final cut, it doesn't take very long. Good luck out there. Stay safe.